Hey guys, how are you? I hope you are well. A little different perspective for um, the video uh, from my uh, beautiful apartment here. Um, so, a very important thing to say that I've been saying for a long time, but now is the time to really know this, is that the chance for altcoins to go up versus Bitcoin is at its highest point right now. Bitcoin is around its all-time high. It's been bouncing off it two times, but it's here for the third time, uh, around $1,200. And if it continues to go up it's, it, and it breaks its all-time high and it goes into a new bubble, uh, which would be $1,300 plus, uh, $1,500, $1,600, this can happen. Uh, over the next few weeks if that happens then you will see very likely that altcoins will start not to go down but up a lot versus Bitcoin and that will start at the same time the next few weeks um, at least that was how it was in the past bubbles eh? so for example when Bitcoin was $100 uh, around $100, it had gone to $255, if from $10 to 255 corrected to $60, and was around $100, $100 for a few months. Um, only a few people thought that a new bubble was possible, but I was not one of them. I thought it would take another few years for a new bubble to happen. But then the price started to go up to first $130, okay, but then $260, which was not that far from the, like, the previous all-time high only happened a few months before and it went to two hundred dollars and then 255 and it broke 255 and boom we were in a new bubble way before i ever expected that to happen but what did i have to do i was smart not to st i stopped selling bitcoin around 130 dollars already because i was afraid of a new bubble that was smart but i hadn't bought enough bitcoin at all i only had uh, around $130, about 20% or so of my portfolio in Bitcoin and 80% in gold and other inferior investments, eh? in inferior risk reward ratio investments. But I had done that because I thought a bubble was very unlikely, a new bubble and a correction, a long correction was much more likely. That's why I had a, a very small exposure. But once it broke the all-time high of 255, uh, I... I I said, okay, I, I need to invest more in, uh, in cryptocurrencies, but Bitcoin just went up a lot uh, in, in only two months time from like 100 to 255. Okay, I'm not going to buy that, but I'll buy some altcoins like Litecoin and some others I bought, Peercoin, a whole bunch of them, um, because they had not actually gone up yet. Um, actually, it had been crashing versus Bitcoin. Um, only when Bitcoin went from 130 to 255, Litecoin had uh, was also cut in half in Bitcoin value, and so Litecoin was around, priced around to two dollars or so. So I said, okay, I'll buy those. I'll buy uh, that. And what happened? I buy it, and like in only one month time, it goes up from two dollar to forty dollar. Absolutely crazy. Huh? So that happened when. Bitcoin went from $255 to $1,000. In the meantime, Litecoin went from $2 to $40. So Bitcoin went times four, but Litecoin went times 20. Eh? So five times more. Eh? And so that's a huge difference. And I think uh, if you look like all altcoins, not just Litecoin, all the altcoins then went up a lot versus Bitcoin, eh? even shitcoins. Eh? And so... So it is very important to realize that it, it may ha go differently this time. That's true. But the odds are in your favor eh? because past performance is the best indicator of future performance. So the odds are high that uh, the same will happen again and all altcoins will start to go up versus Bitcoin starting at $1,300 already. Eh? And it will continue to be the case as long as Bitcoin goes up to a new all-time high, likely around $3,000 or so. That will happen likely very quickly in one, one two months' time. That whole duration, altcoins will continue to go up versus Bitcoin. Eh? So, so instead of going times like from 1300 to 3000 will be times three or so. Well, 
likely all altcoins on average will do times not three but times 10 eh, or times six eh, uh, on average eh, some more some less but you will have mu much higher gains there and i think the odds are much improved today because bitcoin has been fucking up so badly um that the fundamentals have weakened strongly for bitcoin so i think the odds are even better today because at the time that was not the case in 2013 litecoin that was nice but it didn't offer anything over bitcoin bitcoin was cheap to transact fast to transact and, and why would you need litecoin but still it went up a lot more than bitcoin in that bubble so so and the same was true for many others um uh, 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 so but today this is different today actually bitcoin has become like it lost all its qualities it isn't decentralized anymore it isn't fast anymore it isn't cheap anymore so 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 but many of these altcoins are much more decentralized are much cheaper to send transactions with are much faster so <clears throat> this really change this this means i think that we will get the same effect that you will see that the moment bitcoin is going to new all-time highs starting at 1300 um people new money that comes in will start to like think bitcoin is pretty expensive already but some of these altcoins are not and so instead of going into bitcoin they, they send the new money to the altcoins but also bitcoiners themselves start to get fear of heights eh? uh, and 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 they start to diversify a little in altcoins that are still relatively cheap versus bitcoin so that's still the case today with the traditional ones litecoin dogecoin peercoin these are all very cheap historically cheap still uh, making new lows versus bitcoin so these are excellent opportunities to diversify some money into but also the quality altcoins okay dash just went up uh, uh, quite a lot versus bitcoin but for example monero just corrected um ethereum well it's still a, basically in correction it's like half its uh, all-time high value versus bitcoin same for monero dash is making new all-time high so maybe that not but then there are many many other coins that uh, have corrected the past few weeks again um versus bitcoin the coins that frank from uh, bluemagic.info has selected for his portfolio uh, made safe coin game credits economy um, um and many others um sia coin um you take a look on his website blue, blue magic info to see them all uh, have corrected about 20 percent the past two weeks uh, versus bitcoin so these are all excellent buys um so i hope uh yeah you all uh, profit from that insight and uh, dive uh, and make sure like i really have zero bitcoin today um but i did actually buy monero back so i have now 10 percent monero again eh? i have about 80 85 percent of my portfolio is in altcoins of which 10 uh, and 10 percent uh, in monero um so but i still have a, like ardor nxt is a very big position eh? 25 percent of my portfolio clums is also a big position 10 percent and then I have a, a lot in, in, in following Frank, his portfolio. Um, so, 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 so I'm full on altcoins uh, and I don't have any Bitcoin yet. I think that's the right, for me, that's the right approach. I can't, for me also, I stopped using Bitcoin. I decided not to use it anymore as a payment system. I've been like really pushing that hard, trying to pay everywhere with Bitcoin, but that's over now. If the developers are not interested, if, uh, if they are not like helping me, then I'm not going to help them neither. Eh? So a Bitcoin transaction became too expensive and there is really no, there is really no hope for it anymore to become a payment, a currency to pay in, to use to pay in shops. That's like not the case anymore. Uh, that's not possible because um, the quality of a cryptocurrency is that it is decentralized, meaning that you don't have any counterparty risk. You pay someone, and they get the money and they own the money fully themselves. Well, the way the core devs are developing Bitcoin right now is that that's not possible anymore. And you will have counterparty risk in the future when you use Bitcoin. Um, and, 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 and so that's just like losing the, 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 that's just ditching the biggest quality of Bitcoin overboard. That's really not cool. Um, and so 
actually I've been reading an interesting article posted below where the guy says that the author of the article says that actually the most probable outcome for Bitcoin is that neither party wins because you have two parties the big bloggers and the small bloggers the small bloggers are the core devs and uh, and and they don't want to scale uh, bitcoin on chain uh, they do want to scale it off chain uh, but then you of course have a lot of counterparty risk um, and basically you're creating a new banking system it's just really not what i'm in for bitcoin the big bloggers are, have it on the right end but probably neither will actually win the battle and, and there will be a continued standoff as it has been the past few years where nothing happens. Eh? So the, the, the small blockers don't win and don't get segwit, they don't get the lightning network, the banking network that they want, eh? um, but, but the big blockers also don't get a, a block increase and are not courageous enough to, to basically just go on their own. Uh, no, they want to have like 75% of all Bitcoin miners backing them, which won't happen, most likely. And so, so, so Bitcoin will just like stay at as is, which is bad. Um, and so, so, so I think the fundamentals have weakened a lot. So going into altcoins, something like Monero, for example, it's gaining adoption, you know, uh, it's, it's just better as Bitcoin. It doesn't have all the infrastructure around it, it doesn't have a nice mobile wallet yet, but, but it's much easier to use, like your privacy is preserved, you send money, you don't have to be concerned about creating new addresses or that somebody can see your balance. No, that's all taken care of in a standard way. That's really cool. Um, and, um, and you don't have to be concerned that you have idiots, idiots leading the coin that will like not scale it up as has happened with Bitcoin uh, because, um, well, you know, they, they just like, yeah, they, they, they have, a, for example, when it comes to the block size, they have a variable block size. Of course, it will have scaling problems, but if you have the right attitude, if there is a will, there is a way. And if there is no will, there is no way. So even with, well, you know, uh, not that great of a uh, technology uh, as proof of work um, that is uh, Monero is built on and not that uh, great of a business structure uh, that Monero is built on based on uh, fully voluntary donations. Um, uh, still, um, um, you know, there is a strong... Um, actually, what you see is that Monero is being adopted in the dark market pretty quickly and, and this is indeed... Um, this is unique. There is only one coin of real utility next to Bitcoin. That's Monero. So I think that's a great alternative investment and a very great time to to diversify Bitcoins into because this is a coin that 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 you will that actually will have more use for anyone who wants to like pay privacy, have privacy online when making payments, or storing capital in a more private way. Um, uh, and so very likely, even though it has gone up a lot already versus Bitcoin, will continue to go up versus Bitcoin over the next few years. So voila. Uh, but that's just one coin and many others too um, that are very interesting to, to invest in. Even Dash, even though I'm not personally interested uh, and now is not a great time. But yeah, I mean, I mean anything but Bitcoin. <laughs> that's really what I think about this. Um, because Bitcoin is valued in the billions. And uh, it's really like, it has the, the, the name, that's true. Uh, and it will continue to go up, uh, I, I think. But, uh, the, I mean, these altcoins are, are, are much better risk reward investment, especially if you diversify over a bunch of them, then you also like, uh, don't take that much high, that high of a risk actually. Um, because if you have this traditional approach to put a lot in, 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 in Bitcoin and only a little in altcoins, well, you know, you have most of your money then in one coin. Huh? Um, that's actually more risky, uh, especially if it is let poorly. So voila, this was uh, the first time a video of 15 minutes. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Good luck with the investing. Thanks so much for watching. Like my videos if you liked it. Share it with your friends because it's important information. Bye.